Welcome to our fire extinguisher and fire blanket video training. The video takes about 6 minutes and is time well spent, helping meet health and safety training as well as being a valuable life skill. Fire extinguishers and fire blankets are non-specialist fire equipment, designed to be used by occupants, on small fires in the early stages. Fire extinguishers and fire blankets are required, by law, to be installed and maintained in all workplaces, buildings and classes of commercial vehicles throughout Australia. They are also recommended for residential kitchens and garages. Using fire extinguishers and fire blankets are easier than you might think. Training will cover fire classes, fire extinguisher types and how to use them, fire blankets and how to use them. Before you can attempt to extinguish a fire, you need to determine what is actually on fire. There are six common fire classes which are classified according to the fuel or materials on fire. Class A fires are fires involving solid combustible materials such as wood, furniture, curtains, paper, cloth, rubbish and plastic. Class B fires involving flammable liquids such as petrol, diesel or oil. Class C are fires involving gases. Class D fires are specialist fires requiring specialist skills and equipment. Do not attempt to extinguish these fires unless you are trained to do so. For information only, Class D are fires involving certain metals such as aluminium, magnesium, sodium and potassium. Only special purpose extinguishing agents can be used. With expert advice needed. Class E are fires involving live electrical wiring and appliances. Class F fires involving cooking fats and oils. There are six common fire extinguisher types covered in this training. There are two quick ways to identify your fire extinguisher type and use. First is the colored band. Second are the fire class symbols. Water extinguishers discharge water to the heart of the fire to cool and extinguish the fire. Suitable for Class A fires. Do not use water extinguishers for fires other than Class A. Dry chemical A, B, E, extinguishers put out fire by coating the fuel with a thin layer of powder, effectively smothering the fire. Suitable for Class A, B, and E, fires. Do not use for fire classes marked with a red cross. Dry chemical B, E, extinguishers put out fire by coating the fuel with a thin layer of powder, effectively smothering the fire. Suitable for Class B, and E, fires. Do not use for fire classes marked with a red cross. Wet chemical extinguishers discharge an agent which forms a soap-like solution, smothering the fire. Suitable for Class A and F fires. Do not use for fire classes marked with a red cross. Foam extinguishers work by smothering the fire with foam to put it out. Suitable for Class A and B fires. Also has a limited suitability for Class F fires. Do not use for fire classes marked with a red cross. Carbon dioxide extinguishers put out fire by effectively smothering the fire. They are suitable for Class E fires, with limited suitability for Class A, and Class B fires. Do not use for fires marked with a red cross. When using a fire extinguisher, remember pass. P for pull. Pull the pin to unlock the extinguisher. A for aim. Aim the nozzle at the base of the fire. S for squeeze. Squeeze the handle to discharge the agent. S for sweep. Sweep from side to side until fire is out. Now let's take a look at fire blankets. A fire blanket is a flame-resistant blanket that works by cutting off the oxygen supply to the fire. They are suitable for Class F fires, with limited suitability for Class A, and Class B fires. Do not use for fires marked with a red cross. First, remove the blanket from the bag by taking hold of the tabs and pulling. Hold the fire blanket by the tabs and in front of you, using the blanket to protect you from the fire. Move slowly towards the fire and place the blanket over the fire. Then back away from the fire. Leave the blanket in place for 10 to 15 minutes and until cooled. Call the fire brigade if needed. After using fire extinguishers and fire blankets, it is important that they are not put back into service. Keep used fire extinguishers separate and call your fire equipment service provider to recharge or replace as appropriate. Fire blankets are single use only. 
Discard used fire blankets and replace with new. Two rules to remember. 1. Only use fire extinguishers and fire blankets on small fires in the early stages. 2. Only use fire extinguishers and fire blankets if safe to do so. Contact us if you would like a copy of our fire extinguisher and fire blanket pocket guide. This training is also available online with registration and questions. On completion you receive a confirmation email and course certificate. Thank you for taking the training. If you would like to contact us or need more information, please go to our website statcomsystems.com.au.